Well, good evening and welcome to this short service of Compline or Night Prayer. Um, as you're probably aware, this Thursday is Ascension Day and so this is one of the Rogation Days. That's one of the three days of traditionally prayer and fasting leading up to um, a major festival. Uh, the Rogation Days uh, are also about prayers for the land and for our relationship with the land and so I've chosen some prayers for this evening that reflect that. So this, uh, this service um, comes to you from the benefice of Marston and Ellsfield. I'm Andy, I'm the curate uh, in that benefice and we'll be using the order of service for for Compline from Common Worship, uh, which you can find on our website. Um, if you download the booklet, it's on page 10. You can download the order of service itself um, from the website. Uh, if you have the daily prayer, um, Common Worship, it's on page 337. Um, or you can find it on the Church of England uh, daily daily prayer uh, website. Uh, the psalm for this evening is 121. So we say, if you are following the, the uh, order of service, uh, we say the bold parts together. So the Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. So we have a short silence now just to reflect on the day, to bring everything uh, before God. And so reflecting on the day and our part of it, we say together these words of penitence. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your spirit and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, our, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. And so, Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where is my help to come? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. 
he will not suffer your foot to stumble. He who watches over you will not sleep. Behold, he who keeps watch over Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord himself watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand, so that the sun shall not strike you by day, neither the moon by night. The Lord shall keep you from all evil. It is he who shall keep your soul. The Lord shall keep watch over your going out and your coming in from this time forth for evermore. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And so our scripture reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, first 15 verses of chapter 6. Beware of practising your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms... Do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your arms may be done in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. When you are praying, do not heap up empty phrases as the Gentiles do, for they think that they will be heard because of their many words. Do not be like them. For your Father knows what you need before you ask. Pray then, pray then in this way. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us to the time of trial, but rescue us from the evil one. For if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Alleluia. Alleluia. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. So the monk Demetis. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking 
and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. So our intercessions. If you wish, wish to join with the response, the response to may those who sow in tears is reap with shouts of joy. May those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. So let us pray to God our creator who has given us the earth's goodness for our delight and entrusted it to our care and tenderness. For all who live in captivity to debt, whose lives are cramped by fear, from which there is no turning except through abundant harvest, Lord, we pray, may those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. For all who depend on the earth for their daily food and fuel, whose forests are destroyed for the profit of a few. Lord, we pray, may those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. For those who labour in poverty, are oppressed by unjust laws, are prevented from speaking the truth and long for a harvest of justice. Lord, we pray, may those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. For all who are captive to greed and waste and boredom, whose harvest joy is choked with things they do not need. Lord, we pray, may those who sow in tears reap with shouts of joy. Save us from all that holds us captive. Restore our vision, that our mouth may be filled with laughter and our tongue with songs of joy. Amen. And so a collect for this Rogation Day. Almighty God and Father, you have so ordered our life that we are dependent on one another. Prosper those engaged in commerce and industry and direct their minds and hands that they may rightly use the, your gifts in the service of others. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace, and may your blessings be always upon us, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And so as our Saviour taught us, so let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. 
And so the Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. And the Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Have a peaceful night.